Bipolar disorder is a mental disorder characterized by severe mood swings. These cycle between periods of intense highs, known as mania or hypomania, and periods of intense downs, depression. In Canada, more than 2% of individuals will experience bipolar disorder at some point in their lifetime. It usually starts in late adolescence or early adulthood, but can also begin in childhood. It affects men and women equally, and most people with bipolar disorder will experience several episodes during the course of their lifetime. Genes and chemicals in the brain play a strong role in making people vulnerable to developing the disorder. Episodes of mania or depression are often triggered by stressful life events. Risk factors for relapse in bipolar disorder include using alcohol or drugs, not taking psychiatric medication as prescribed, and changes in routine leading to lack of sleep or irregular sleeping habits. In mania, a person experiences elation or a highly irritable mood that lasts for at least one week. This mood increase is accompanied by high levels of energy combined with a noticeable decreased need for sleep. A person usually has a boost in self-esteem, speaks more and faster, experiences racing thoughts, and is easily distracted. Mania can be accompanied by psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations and delusions and almost always requires hospitalization. In the depressive phase of bipolar disorder, symptoms of clinical depression need to be present for at least two weeks and are similar to symptoms of unipolar depression. Symptoms include depressed mood or sadness, loss of interest in most activities, social withdrawal, changes in appetite, increased or disturbed sleep, fatigue or low energy, decreased sexual desire, difficulties in concentration or making decisions, feelings of worthlessness, and suicidal thoughts or plans. In more severe forms, clinical depression can be life-threatening and require hospitalization. Suicide is a significant threat in bipolar disorder. Pharmacotherapy or drug therapy is essential for the treatment of bipolar disorder. It usually involves the use of one or more mood stabilizers, such as lithium, combined with other medications. Psychological interventions in conjunction with drug therapy can help people better manage their illness. In bipolar disorder, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, uses psychoeducation and mood monitoring to help people identify triggers of mood episodes establish healthy routines, regulate important biological rhythms, and develop a written relapse prevention plan. Increasing activities in depression, reducing activities in mania, and correcting over-negative or over-positive thoughts are also strategies used in CBT. Additional treatments include interpersonal and social rhythm therapy and family-focused therapy. Social support is very important for people with bipolar disorder. Joining local support groups for mood disorders may be helpful. For more information regarding bipolar disorder, please visit the following sites. To find a registered psychologist near you, visit the following page.